that. Oh, he slapped off a little bit, but he let her go anyways. Feynman for the red. In over the blue line. Long shot off the uh, mesh behind the net. Well, Rich Prime is one of our sponsors for this game, and he's been playing excellent hockey himself. Well, they should be eh? a little nicer to him, or he won't sponsor anymore. They're losing eight to three. Now it's number two, Bob Levesque. Good burst of speed again. He's being hooked from behind by Rick Pyman. Levesque moving in. Pyman's got a tug on him. Things can get a little nasty here in his hockey game. You know, I'm quite surprised there hasn't been a fight all night, eh? And I figured with uh, Rick Pyman, uh, uh, one of the sponsors of the team, he's wearing those uh, bright orange socks, and uh, nobody has made a pass at him yet. Well, uh, yeah, that's true. That's true. But then again, he's not wearing a helmet, and that may have something to do with it. Uh, and uh, he missed one there, but you'll see a lot Here more. Here we go. Him. We got another one coming. Oh, it's Ricky Pyman. He waits for the deke. Oh, and he has a little difficulty there. Smear him there and missed him. But Pyman back to intercept. Uh oh, we got a family there, I think. You got Rainer down in his own end. He was definitely tripped there, but the referee, uh, after that hundred was slipped to him. Uh, well, I know the also to be doing a feature between the second and third period on Rick Pyman's admittance into the Betty Ford Clinic. Rick, of course, room with Rob Probert. And uh, they became quite good friends and uh, will be playing in the state prison team during the off season. For Sexton, Sexton to Pyman. Pyman shoots. Whoa, that one. Hit Levesque. He had the whole open side to beat Pyman in the uh, in the nets for the white team. Red's trying to come out. Intercepted. Here goes Pyman. Pass He's got one on one. Good move. But back check. Good shot and another grab. And again, Bickford grabs the puck. We got a penalty whistle here, maybe. That play. I think that's an offside. I think they called a penalty. Uh, Parks is going off for two minutes. This will give the Reds a chance. I to Rick Pyman. Here he comes with a burst of speed up the left side. Watch those flying legs as Pyman's in over the blue line. The pass in front. The rebound comes loose to Pyman. He shoots. Rick Pyman scores. What a shot. Rick Pyman who opens up the scoring in this hockey game. And not surprising because one of the uh, superstars of this red squad, Rick Pyman, you're going to have to watch him. Got tremendous speed and uh, a great hockey player in front of that net. Uh, Almost like a Phil Esposito with that good reach, and that good shot. Now, and on will come the only goal scorer of the game, Rick Pyman. Of course, he led the league in goal scoring this year with 83 goals and 120 assists. And uh, Rick is just coming back from a knee injury. Apparently, he twisted his knee on the dance floor down at Gray's uh, Bar and Grill in Mississauga. A couple of weeks. Well, referee Walter Pyman there, he seems to be getting on top of it a little more again. Now he's got a penalty uh, called on Rick Pyman, number 22 for Trippin coming up the far boards. How's that for brother to brother? That's right, yeah. Left wing boards, Rick Pyman with a good burst of speed over the blue line, Whoa, down he goes. Rick Pyman brought heavily to the ice and let's check and see if that affects his knee at all. No, he's looking at it, but He's fine as he gets the puck again at Here the blue Ricky. line. Ricky takes Carson. Playing a little chippy. You can tell that he's a little ticked off. He wants to win here today. Over the blue line. Again, there's a pass to Rick Pyman, the speedy Rick Pyman over the blue line. Got a wicked shot. Let's it go. Loses his stick. Loses his glove. And finally retrieves his stick and gets back into the action. But that was a tremendous shot by Rick Pyman. He let that shot go. His stick fell off. His glove fell off. And the goaltender was fooled on the play. Luckily, the puck yes, went off. off the net. wing. And Bickford stopped up. Comes loose. Pyman gets it. Pyman waits. Shoots. What a save, Bickford. Pyman again. They scramble in front. Rick White Pyman. Team should be a lot better off for that. Here comes Rick Pyman now over the blue line. Pyman in. Shoots. Oh, another good save by his brother, Parnell. So. Brother versus brother, and goaltender wins that battle. David Glazier. Glazier with a good burst of speed, but some back checking by Rick Pyman. And I tell you, that Rick Pyman can do it all. Back checking, forechecking, scoring goals, making out with the women, making out with the guys. Rick Pyman is uh, just a versatile performer. Face off off to the right of the zone. Number 22 takes a shot for the red. Rick Pyman takes a shot on the net. Number 22. Red, Rick Pyman. Got the big line out there of Walt and Rick Pyman. And I tell you, the Sutter brothers have nothing on this Pyman family. Three players out there in the ice night. All Pymans, all tremendous athletes, and uh, just a credit to their mother and father that they could uh, come up with the goods. 
that night. Here comes Rick. Speaking of Rick, five minutes over, shoots. Rebound to his brother, Walt, who... Reds bring it in. It's a pass over to Ralph Runker from Rick Pyman gets the puck in front of Nate. He takes a shot. Basil Good Bickford right. makes it. That's it right now. Walt Pyman in front of Rick. There's a rebound. Rick and Walt Pyman playing a little give and go in front of that net. Good long pass to Richard Pyman at the blue line. Up for Parnell Pyman. He loses it out in front for Askin. He scores! 7-5 to five now. And, folks, this ain't over. Well, that was just a nice play. Richard Pyman over to Parnell, back to Brent Askin. And Brent Askin. He shoots, stopped by Baccarat, rebound by Rick Pyman. Another good save by Parnell. Yeah, incredible. He's made about 46 saves already in this hockey game. There's his brother Rick now in over the blue line. He shoots. Oh, oh, oh. He rattled that one off the goal post. Walt Pyman with his brother Rick on the right side. Rick's got the pass. Drifting in, shoots. Walt got a piece of it. The puck's still loose. It's in the goal crease. We got three Pymans down there on the ice. And the puck is held out by goaltender Cornell. Richard Pyman on the far side with the puck. Gathering speed, trying to make his way around. Hayes stops, pulls up, and leads there for Askin. Back for Richard Pyman. To the point. Strut with the shot. They score! Nine to six. This one is not over. Rick Pyman num wearing number 22. And for good reason, the Mike Bossy of this red team. Great goal scorer. And uh, just a tremendous talent. Came right out of, out of junior hockey down in the London area. Played uh, a couple of years in the NHL with the Leafs, Canadians. Then went to the WHA, where he was a star for a couple of seasons also, before he came back and played non-contact hockey here in Mississauga. And he and his brother, both uh, ex-NHLers. Looking uh, for Rick Pyman, takes it in. Rick Pyman, back to Fenton, Fenton, oh! And dumps it off on the left side, the shot, and that just went wide. Back around the boards it goes, Pyman, oh, he falls heavily into the boards. <laughs> to the red, Bernal Pyman, right at our goal. And... Of course, Rick Pyman, one of the crowd favorites here, the crowd chanting before the game started, Rick, put your helmet on, which has become a very famous chant here at Arena C. White's given and it looks like Rick Pyman will be going off for the Red Squad, and he is not happy about that. There's a look. Pyman visibly upset. Rick Pyman coming up on the left wing. Rick Pyman taking it in on his own, looking for a pass, shoots it. Frank Rizzo. Good save. That scores it. Tipped it in, could have been a slow whistle. I mean, out here's Rick Pyman now, he'll get a chance. Pyman in alone, shot, right on. Yeah. Terry McGuire having problems getting Rick Pyman to the box. I believe he fingered both of them, Ken Dupre, Dupre and Rick Pyman for a little roughing there. Well, I think it's, uh, I think he's just trying to set a tone here. You don't, you're not gonna let that rough stuff happen. Too bad, it nullified a great chance. Smoke had the puck back at the point. Well, it was a good setup, but, uh, what can you say? The ref's got the whistle. He's going to let him have get it. a chance to take Bateman out, put the extra man out. The Reds win the draw. Here's Dillon. Dillon gets around his man. Dillon right at our goal. Bucks loose. Save. Bickford scores. They bang it in. Dillon with 1-12 left. The Reds have tied it.